Hello, it's Chris Gobber here, and today I'm going to be doing a video um, about showing you a few of my favourite films, like a list basically. A bit boring, I know, but someone will probably want to watch it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll just get on with it without further ado. So, this is going to be, I'll just show um, a few of my favourite films, talk a bit about each one. Okay, starting off then Blade Runner. Well, it's classic science fiction, uh, starring Harrison Ford, directed by Ridley Scott. Um, really good soundtrack, amazing soundtrack by Vangelis. Um, it's based on a story by um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. Um, stunning special effects, really like the special effects in this film. Um, I think it was 82, yeah, 82 it was released. And the effects are really good for that time. They still still stand up today, really. Storyline's really good, pretty good as well. Like, um, Deckard chasing replicants and all that. So, yeah, it's a good film. Later, watch it if you can. Uh, a very weird film next David Lynch's A Razor Head. Very strange, like, black and white, all in black and white film. Surrealistic. A strange soundtrack, really weird. Uh, it's like a surrealistic horror film, really. Worth checking out though if you like that kind of surreal film. Uh, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead. Good splatcore classic. Lots of gory, uh, lots of gore in it, and it's quite funny as well, like, especially the scene with the baby in the park. If you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, it's a really funny film. Especially the scene of the lawnmower sex. It's a classic scene. Uh, that's that one. Brain Dead. Buy that if you can find it. I think it's called Dead Alive in the US. So it's a different title, but. Uh, Schindler's List. Steven Spielberg. Directed. Uh, obviously, everyone knows what this is about. The Holocaust. Very moving film. You know. It probably moves many people to tears. Because it's so tragic and, but it's very well directed and very good film. I like the soundtrack as well. The 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 uh, violin soundtrack. So that's a very good film. Worth watching. Not exactly happy, but good emotional drama. Uh, the Matrix trilogy. Uh, it's good cyberpunk classics. Everyone knows these by now. If you haven't heard of the Matrix, like where have you been, really? Really good film, yeah. First one's good, really good. I really like the first one. Second one's so so. Third one is pretty not very good, but with a few odd good, bit, good bits. So actually, the trilogy as a whole is a mixed bag, but the first one is definitely worth uh, seeking out and watching if you have not already, but you probably have. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Uh, who's this director by? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who this. Ah, there we go. Michael Gondry. Uh, it's basically a story about a guy whose girlfriend erases him from his memory, so he does the same thing, and then it's like all in his head. So this is also a bit surreal, it's surrealistic, not to the extent that Eraser Head is, but still quite surrealistic and dreamlike. Um, yeah, it's a good film. Makes you think a lot. Uh, good. Uh, the Fountain by Darren Aff. Aff let me. I don't know if I'm able to pronounce his name correctly. Um, Darren Aronofsky. Don't know if you can see the title. Uh, really good film. Like really good special effects. Like quite a good story. I like the story, even though it's a bit jumbled in places. Like it's a bit all over the place and stuff. But. I like that, it's quite, you know, creates a, um, I don't know, I can't really describe it, but it's a pretty decent film and quite emotional as well. Um, and I, I really like the ending and the music, the music's stunning, so that's a fountain. Pan's Labyrinth, Galmio del Toro's Pan, Pan's, Galmio del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth. Just bought this on DVD the other day. Uh, really good film. 
a bit of a strange storyline again. Um, but worth seeking out. It's basically about a girl who who um, gets visited by this form who uh, tells her that she's a princess of the underworld and it's all set in the Spanish Civil War and yeah, it's a decent flick. Anyway, I can't really explain it very well, but it's worth watching. Ishi the Killer! Japanese film. Takeshi Mike. He of uh, Tetsuo Iron Man fame, I believe. Uh, really, quite a fucked up film. Darkly humorous, though, in a way. Um, the, there's, I can't remember what the guy's name's called. The main uh, baddie, if you will, anti hero in the film. But he's, I really like his character. Um, it's a very gory film, very gruesome. If you can't stand gore and gruesome, gruesome stuff, then don't watch it. But if you can and you like that kind of thing, why not like it? But if, if it fits into the story of the gore and the gruesomeness, but you know, it's a good film. Evil Dead, another splatcore kind of film. Uh, Bruce Campbell as well, excellent. So it's Sam Raimi who directs. Uh, really good zombie kind of flick. Uh, they're called deadites, not actually called zombies in this film. Like resurrected demons. Uh, it's quite funny. It's got slapstick humour and yeah, not as much as Evil Dead 2, but still to a degree. And uh, yeah, it's a really good film, really good flick. Brazil, Terry Gillian. Z Brazil, kind of. Uh, one of a kind kind of film really, uh, set in a dystopian world of kind of a retro futurism kind of world where everything's uh, everything look is futuristic but it looks old if you know what I mean um, and it's you know it's pretty genius really it's like darkly humorous um, a bit like 1984 and some of the um, social commentary is I guess of it but yeah it's really worth watching to, uh, Brazil Ghost in the Shell one of my favourite films I've already done a video on it but yeah um, manga anime uh, but an intelligent anime not like some of these other ones um, so it's like about a cyborg who's after this uh, person, well, not person as such, but a being called the Puppet Master, which has been hacking. What was it hacking again? Um, I can't remember actually, I haven't seen it for a while. But some stunning visual scenes in it and stunning music as well, so worth, worth watching if you like into anime. Or if you're not into anime, you just like science fiction, watch it anyway. Almost done now. Atonement. Uh, now, this isn't really the kind of film I would normally go for, really. It's a bit of a love story, though not in a traditional sense. It's, um, it's about... Uh, well, I can't, I can't really explain it that well in the time limit I've got now, but it's kind of a romance that goes wrong and uh, the, pe the two people involved in the romance never get to see each other again so it's a bit of a tragedy I suppose but yeah that's that one really good music on Atonement as well one for the cuckoo's nest with Jack Nicholson uh, directed by um, what's his face uh, Milo's foreman so yeah it's set in the mental hospital with Jack Nicholson plays Really intense, good role in this. Um, yes, yeah, good film. You probably know about it, so I won't explain much more. Running out of time now. Ghost in the Shell 2. Basically, it's a bit similar to the Ghost in the Shell 1. If you like anime, watch it. Uh, I can't really say any more now because I'm running out of time big time, so yeah, what, what, watch Ghost in the Shell 2. Anime. That's it, that's my little list of uh, films I recommend you watch, or films that I like, etc. etc. Uh, yeah, goodbye.